welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is chloe and welcome to the video if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe down below so you can be part of the family as we're growing each and every day in today's look i did this beautiful holiday look with the Too faced gingerbread spice eyeshadow palette i'm so excited to be using this again for browns and then i wanted to use that hot toddy shade which was that duochrome with the gold and the pink which is literally so pretty and i'm so happy i did a look like this if you want me to do any more tutorials for you guys with this palette, I would love to do it for you guys. And if you want to see how, how I created this beautiful look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I just did my brows off camera, and actually for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette yet again, and I'm so excited to try it out. I did use some of the pinks, but I kind of want to go out of my comfort zone and maybe using some of like the purples and I love hot toddy. It was like that duochrome one that had like gold and pink and I really wanted to try that out for you guys today. See how this works. And I already primed my eyelids. The shade I'm going to be going into is a transition shade, which is the shade called Gingerbread Latte. They smell so good. I'm just putting this all over my crease. Now that we've gotten Gingerbread Latte down, I'm going to be using the next shade called Gingerbread. Focusing this on the outer V. So the next shade I'm going to be going into is Ooh Burn, which is this really pretty purple color. And it's actually like an auburn shade because when they say Ooh Burn, <laughs> get it? So like this is all I'm going to be doing on my eye, like on the outer corner. I'm just going to be, I just focused it mostly just browns and then we're just really going to put that Ooh Burn shade on the lid. And I'm thinking about using Ooh Toddy too. So first I'm going to do Ooh Burn. So we'll look at that. So I'm actually going to just be using my finger for this because I realize that it's actually a lot more pigment pigmented when you just use your finger. So I'm just going to do it like right here. Just, and this has a lot of fallout like so just be careful this is so pretty but you really want to make sure you actually don't do your base first because your whole entire base will be ruined what we're going to be doing is we're going to do that hot toddy shade which is like i said like that duochrome which is so pretty look it's just like gold and some, and some pink it's so pretty so i'm going to be putting that closer to the inner corner but not all the way because we're going to be using a different shade okay so i'm going to be highlighting my brow bone with the shade powdered sugar which is such a pretty white shade oh, it smells just like powdered sugar so it looks too harsh all i do is get a clean brush and i just blend it all out there's a lot of fallout so i'm going to be using a makeup wipe and going to be all of it up. What I do is I act it like to just give it a little bit of a sharp edge. To just sort of find it a little bit. Harsh though. And then what I usually do is I just pat it with my fingers just to make it not look too harsh. Just kind of blends it in. I learned it from Allie Glines, as always. Oh my god, this eye look looks so pretty. I'm going to be zooming in for you guys. Like, look at that. Oh, I keep you guys up like this close. This is what it looks like. I just used some gel liner and I just did a straight line. And I'm going to be curling my lashes and just be putting on mascara. And I'll be right back. I, I just finished my mascara and it literally looks so pretty. I love it so much. So, actually, I want to be all glowy today. So, I'm going to actually... I'm going to be using the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Celestial. It's so pretty. Okay. So I'm just going to be dropping them on my face. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Girl, this is so glowy and so beautiful. So I'm going to be going into my It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream in the shade Fair. This is going to even look extra dewy because of those enhancer drops. It's going to look so pretty and fresh. Look at the dewiness already. Looks so pretty. Just make sure you blend your neck and your ears. It's so important. Make sure you get that inner corner too of your eye. All the way up in there. For concealer, I'm going to be going into my Tarte Shape Teeth Concealer in the shade Light. Just want to make sure you really get into the inner tear duct, like right here. Because when we 
did the eyeshadow, you can't really get in there. This is so full coverage. Make sure you want to be careful in the outer so you don't mess up our good hard work. Then I don't know if, and then I always set it really fast because my eyelids under eyes crease so quickly. I actually just press it in really up in there with my sponge to make sure it really gets in there and locks it in place. So it's increase all day long. So I'm just gonna be doing the center of my face. Well, I haven't seen my skin look this good in a long time. Like, it just looks so good and fresh and hydrated and dewy and glowy and just healthy. I haven't contoured in a really long time, so I actually want to contour. I'm going to be using the Benefit Blue Light Quickie Contour Stick. I know I look really crazy right now, but we're going to blend all of that out. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I've missed it so much. So now I'm actually going to be using... I'm going to be using the Benefit Polo Light Bronzer. I'm so happy to hit pan. I'm going to be using just a little bit of blush. I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek Blush and in Infatuation, which is right here. I don't know. I always like to just hit my nose a little bit with blush. I don't know. I just love that. It's looks so pretty. Okay, so now we're going, I'm going to be doing the lower lash line. I'm going to be using mostly those um, transition shades that we used, which was gingerbread and gingerbread latte. Try to just connect it to the top. I like that wing effect. I'm going to be doing the inner corner and I'm going to be using the shade Spiked Eggnog, which is this really pretty gold champagne shade. I'm just going to pop it right there in the inner corner. I almost dropped my palette, but it's okay. Oh my god. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, my favorite part, I'm going to be just spritzing my face with some Fix Plus. A trick that I've been really loving recently is I don't like a streaky highlighter like when you can just tell you've used a brush. So what I use is I actually use my sponge that I used to use like my foundation, my concealer, powder, all that. So I'm going to be using, of course, the Maybelline Master Chrome um, Metallic Highlighter with Maybelline Tutorials in the shade 250. And pat it in there like that. Oh, it's so pretty. And then you don't want to swipe, so you just want to pat on the cheekbone. Look at that. Like it just gives it such a beautiful natural glow in a minute this is the mac cosmetics cream sheen lipstick in the shade modesty i use this actually my senior year prom this is too funny i'm just gonna be putting this on my lips i love the smell of it and it's just so pretty i like so pretty in the video Every time. <clears throat> I love you. Look oh, cute he is. Okay, so I just set my brows with some clear brow gel by Anastasia. I forgot to set them. So this is the completed look on this beautiful holiday look you can do around the holidays or when you go into like Christmas Eve or dinner or church or anything. And I really like it a lot. But it was so beautiful. Again, I want to start doing more shades. I really want to use the shade Gumdrop. I think that would be so pretty. Let me know down below if you guys would want another tutorial with this look. I would love it. I would love to do it for you guys so much. And it's so much fun filming this. If you're new here, my, hi, my name is Chloe. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe down below so you can be a part of the family. So we're growing each and every day. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I know you like these kinds of videos. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.